I think a lot of guys get engaged during a social week or a social two week social. Um, I know in the Philippines it's much higher than any of the other places that AFA goes to. I think the Philippines probably pushes a maybe probably 40 to 50 percent engagement rate. I don't know why the Philippines is so much higher than a lot of the other places we go to, but I very much believe it's a much higher engagement. I know of the, the tour that I went on that I met my wife on, I'm dead positive that it was 50% of the guys were engaged before they went home. And I know that a couple of them got engaged on a second visit, so I'm thinking it was probably closer to maybe 60 or 70% of that tour group, and there's only, there only 15 of us on that tour group. So I'm thinking there's probably 60 or 70% of that group wound up engaged. I don't know if they all got married, but I know they a lot of them got engaged. Um, I don't always know the end result of the engagement, but I do see a lot of the engagements. Um, so I don't always know, because again, once you meet the girl, we're, we're essentially out of the loop. You know, we stop being part of the, the interaction between the two of you. I don't think they care that you're American, honestly. They're looking for a guy that one, is gonna treat them right, two, is gonna love them, three, isn't gonna cheat on them, and four, wants to be married and in a long-term committed relationship. Those four items are like the top of pretty much every girl's list. If you ever listen to any of these interviews, they essentially say those four things in a variety of ways, but it boils down to those four items are what they're really looking for. So I think if you, you know, if you're a good guy and you treat them right and you're polite and you're, you know, you act like a normal person should when you meet and get into a relationship with a lady, you, it won't matter where you're from. And again, most of these girls, they, they kind of don't care where you're from, you know? If you're from America, Canada, um, Australia, Europe, whatever, they're, they're not worried about that. They're just, they're, like I said, those four things, that, that's what they're looking for here is, it's, it's, you know, are you a good guy? Are you going to be a good husband? Are you going to treat them well? Are you going to love them? Are you going to be respectful of them? That's important to these women, you know? So you need to you need to know that stuff, and again, like those are the things you need to be looking for, and that's what they're looking for. There's gonna be shady chicks anywhere in the world you go. There are plenty of disingenuous women everywhere. There's also plenty of disingenuous guys everywhere who treat women like crap and use them for their own purposes. Very clearly, what we would be using them for, but not gonna go there um, that it, it happens everywhere but you have to get past that and you have to be open going to the Philippines and trying to meet someone from another culture is harder to do than it just meeting someone that's here in your local community you're gonna have more in common with that person here in the local community than you may have with that woman on the other side of the world. Simply for the fact that you grew up in two completely different lifestyles. But what these women offer, the genuine ones, and that's the ones we wanna focus on. Like I said, a woman asks about your bank account, your house, your car, or how much you make a year, be done with that conversation five seconds later and move on. Now be polite, but just let her know that you're not interested in talking about that and you're pretend and you would like to go move on and talk to someone else and wish her a good day and move on. Now be you know, be polite. Don't be rude to them. There's no reason for it. Um, but again, if any of those things come up in a first conversation, you need to be out of that conversation. And that applies to women here in the US and women anywhere else in the world. Any woman asks me about that stuff, conversation's over, I'm gone. It's none of your business. Those are things that I might discuss with you after I've known you for a few weeks. My wife never asked me once what I did. Well, she knew what I did because she knew I worked for this company because I was filming stuff and doing interviews at the social that I met her at. So she had some inkling that I had something to do with the company that ran the socials. But she never asked how much I made. Hell, I don't think she even asked how much I made until after she was already here. 
and she saw one of my paychecks and didn't understand all the numbers and all the things in it because I left one of my uh, pay stubs sitting on the table when it got mailed to me. Um, and she asked me about it and I explained it to her. And she asked me, she's like, well, how much do you make? And I'm like, oh, well, this is this right here. This is what I keep after all my taxes and deductions and things and my medical insurance. This is what I get to keep every two weeks. And she's like, oh, well, well how much is that a year? And I'm like, I don't know, get your calculator out and type, multiply that by 26. Um, you know, because I had gotten a raise twice in that, that year, so I didn't actually know what the dollar amount was actually going to be. Um, but yeah, that conversation happened after we were married as to how much I actually made. You know, she wasn't interested in that. She liked me for, well, actually, my wife didn't essentially like me at first because she wasn't a fan of my beard. I've actually, I have to keep the, the beard trimmed up because she's not super fanatical about it. And a lot of Filipinas and Asians are not big into the beard thing. If it was up to me, I'd have a Duck Dynasty beard rocking right now, but my wife is not cool with that. And I like my house to be somewhat harmonious, so we keep the beard trimmed. <laughs> it's all about compromises, my friends. All about compromises. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's the world we live in. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Check out our website at cebuwomen.com. Don't forget to click on our red subscribe button and notice bell to get updated every time we add something new.